There were several major events at the NCPA this week. To offer fast, accurate insights into the president's January 20th State of the Union address, NCPA staff implemented an extremely successful rapid response outreach plan before, during, and after the speech. Well into Tuesday night, we connected with social media audiences, NCPA supporters, blog followers, and informed news media, which generated hundreds of mentions, including national and local media, NPR, The Federalist, and other sites that ran the NCPA's after-speech analyses. NCPA social media manager Diana Osuna has more. Our rapid response social media initiative was so effective, we generated about three weeks worth of Twitter traffic in one evening. Healthcare Finance News named one of our tweets on the speech as one of the more targeted tweets from social media about healthcare topics in the State of the Union. Our State of the Union tweets reached about 9,600 people on Twitter alone, including media outlets. We reached over 4,250 people on Facebook as well. The rapid response goal was a great success on many levels and a great team effort from the NCPA staff. We announced this week the new partnership between the NCPA's Tax Analysis Center and Beacon Hill Institute. NCPA Senior Fellow and TAC Project Manager Pam Villarreal explains the joint effort could benefit all Americans. The Tax Analysis Center will provide objective empirical research on the effects of U.S. federal and state taxing and spending on the economy and to propose reforms that will measurably improve the lives of all Americans by raising the rate of economic growth, resulting in employment and income growth. The findings of Tax Analysis Center research will be released on our website in easy-to-read formats, complete with graphs and charts, so anybody can truly understand how our tax system works and what's at stake when new tax reform proposals are presented by policymakers. Over the next two years, we will look at the current tax system and its effects on the economy and the implied tax burdens necessary to finance programs such as Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare. And we will identify and analyze the effects of major tax and associated spending reforms proposed by leading presidential candidates in 2016 or other reform proposals that have widespread public support. And we will identify and propose reforms that grow the economy and create jobs. NCPA Senior Research Fellow Lloyd Benson IV explains the findings from a new NCPA report, The Higher Education Bubble. Free-flowing money to students is causing college tuition fees to rise too fast. Between 2008 and 2013, tuition and fees jumped 27%. Those funds are paying for administration costs, not educators or classrooms. In his State of the Union speech, President Obama's plan to give community college students two free years of college will only add to this problem with the projected cost of nearly $70 billion to taxpayers. Students are now receiving the most money ever in the form of loans and grants. And second, colleges are spending that money as fast as they can by increasing administrative staff, new construction, and luxurious country club style amenities to attract new students. If the federal government continues the free flow of money to students, many for-profit colleges will have to shut down and students will amass well over one trillion in debt with not a whole lot to show for it. NCPA senior fellow John R. Graham addressed the 2015 South Carolina Tea Party Coalition Convention. We've been talking about Obamacare and fixing health insurance markets, but I think we always have to keep remembering in the back of our heads that not all medical care needs to be paid for by an insurance company either private or government sponsored. And NCPA Legislative Director Brian Williams has the roundup from Washington, D.C. The House and Senate are back, fresh from their planning retreats where they discuss strategies for this year to repeal Obamacare, reform the tax code, and rein in federal spending. On Tuesday, the President came up to Capitol Hill to deliver his annual State of the Union address. Among other things, he promised two years of free college, tax giveaways for child care and two earner households, more government spending on global warming, and a host of other wealth distribution schemes. Now, the government doesn't actually produce anything of value to generate revenue. The government basically takes from some people to give to others. So how is the president going to pay for all of the promises he made during the State of the Union address? Well, for starters, he's going to tax college savings, raise the tax capital gains tax, and increase taxes on inheritances. So the details of all the tax increases necessary to pay for the 
president's promises will be released on February 2nd when the president submits his budget proposal to Congress. So be sure to stay tuned for that. A couple of reminders. The NCPA is partnering with the Rotary Club of Dallas to host Governor Huckabee's Dallas book signing event on Wednesday, February 4th. You can still get an early registration discount for Glenn Greenwald's luncheon on Friday, April 3rd at ncpa.org. We couldn't do any of this without your support. Thank you.